Welcome back insufferable gaming fans, your old pal Rosser here. I have been working on Mr. Roller Coaster. It still has quite a few kinks to work out, but we're getting there. Let's take a look, shall we? First major problem I have is keeping animals off the track. Case in point. Yes, off, Mr. Sheep. I actually managed to break an almost completely new diamond sword earlier by using it to hit a pig that was on the track while I was moving. I don't know if that's a glitch or that was just a hell of a swing I took, but either way, I'm now short a diamond sword. Well, hopefully we won't get too many blockages on the way. Sometimes you just gotta punch a cow off the tracks. At least until such a time as they come up with some sort of cow catcher for these things. But you'll notice it's going a lot faster now that they've updated the uh, speed of the track boosters. Makes for a bit more of a exciting ride, if nothing else. Stay off the track. And we're off to the races. Just a zoom in right on up. Now it should be noted that I am by no means done yet because I actually ran out of iron to make tracks with. I'm getting really short on uh, booster track materials as well. But Basically what I've done is started making a nice looping circuit so that I could quickly get between places without having to walk or use the underground passage. It works. Although one problem with the track is that unless the um, cart comes to a gradual stop, you'll take some damage from the sudden stop. Again, not sure if it's a glitch or what. Because of the recording, I'm actually managing to um, cart over faster than the terrain can load, which is interesting. And this is almost as much of it as I have done. So we definitely want to hop out before we come to that abrupt stop. I'll just kind of show you where it goes from here. You'll notice it goes through the island tower, which by the way almost has the lawn completely seated now. And it starts out to the left, but that's where I ran out of wood so I stopped. So that's uh, that's how we're doing on the roller coaster right now. Like I say, it needs some things tweaked, definitely. But we'll just uh, give it a push and ride it on back for now. Again, it's a lot quicker than walking. Very pleasant. Lots of nice scenery. It's easy to see some areas that I missed before. Or at least it would be if they were loading fast enough. But what you gonna do, right? It looks a lot smoother when you're playing without a bunch of stuff running in the background, believe me. And let's see here. I hope this doesn't kill me. Hey. Nope, I jumped out at just the right time. Fortunately, I have plenty of meat to make up for that. 
Also, there have been wolves abounding, killing the sheep left and right. Which is fine, because I didn't need those sheep. And let's see, it's about midday. I'd like to give this thing a test run at night. Right on film, so I'll wait until night and then start it back up. <coughs> okay. I'm back, and we are rapidly approaching the dark of night. Here in a second, we'll hit that button and see how she does in the dark. Assuming again, of course, that we don't get sheeped and pigged to death. Okay, that should be about enough. Let's giggity go. And we're off. Nice scenery. I took the draw distance down a bit. Hopefully that'll help with the um, pop-up a bit. Or whatever you want to call it. Stuttering. Chunk access. Percent signs. I don't know. Hmm. Looks like I could use a little bit more lighting around that edge. I'll keep that in mind. Pig, don't you do it. I'll punch a pig. I will not hesitate to punch a pig. That is just the kind of lunatic I am. Ah yes, very nice looking. In the dark. The main thing I wanted to make sure is that nothing was spawning on the track up here. Because that would be problematic, to say the least. Yoinks and away. Can't really see much aside from some faint outlines of the land down below. I haven't done much towards lighting that up. You can kind of see where it snows down there. Surely something will be coming into view pretty soon though. Any second now. There we go. That just loomed right on out there. Much easier to get between towers now like this. Or at the very least faster. And I want to make sure I jump off before I hit the stop. There we go. Good timing. Hmm. I probably should have finished lighting this up. Now is not a great time for that, though. I don't want to be here when skeletons start popping out all over the place. So, I'll just head on back and take care of it on the next trip. So, until next time, this is your old pal Rosser. Take a drink. <laughs>